Very good afternoon to you. It's Jim from Half Star Observatory. I want to lay it down as clearly as I possibly can for you guys out there. We have had uh, recently uh, an increase in the amount of subscribers, so we are gaining a little bit of traction here. Um, you know, we're doing what we set out to do, and that is to reach out to as many people as possible just to warn them of the oncoming events that humanity as a species is going to face in the not too distant future. What we're looking at here is the magnetic north pole migration over the last 120 years. You can see it has covered nearly 2,000 miles over the northern hemisphere and you can verify this with any organisation you may have trust in, whether that be NASA, the European Space Agency, NOAA, the British Geological Survey or the Canadian Geological Survey. This event is happening and the last time it happened was 780,000 years ago. That is with uh, the emittance of you know those excursions that we had, the last one being around 12,000 years ago. The difference between excursions and completed reversals is excursions do not keep the new magnetic reversed pole for very long before they go back. As you can see, we are well close now to that 40 degree mark um, that we have, um, you know, theoretically based on the experiences suggested that we will see some significant activity with the climate on our Earth when we start to cross that boundary of the 40 degree mark there at the bottom of this screen and we leave the strong field lines which has allowed over the last 120 years the migrating pole to slowly migrate over the northern hemisphere but at that point according to the experiments that we have concluded it should enter the weak field lines and therefore it should migrate a lot quicker so we are months away now not years months away from crossing that line this is the first anomaly that we are going to face in the not too distant future it, whether you like it or not you know over the last 30 years it is clearly shown us that as the pole has migrated much quicker in those last 30 years so as the climate on our earth declined in normality you know the events have become much worse and that is largely as we have shown on this channel due to just a couple of things one being um, an increase in cosmic rays which has allowed uh, the upper atmosphere to uh, increase its water vapor and this has uh, gone into the jet streams and excess water in the jet streams means that they have become super jet streams and also we have seen fragmenting taking place which is allowing subtropical and polar jet streams to mix both over the northern and southern hemispheres of our planet you know this has caused floods droughts hurricanes uh, tornadoes forest fires to start early in the season you name it but largely you know one more important thing is all this has an effect on the total production of crops globally we've never had to feed so many mouths on this planet we're now at around about 8 billion souls and you know we are facing a very bleak future I'm saying to you guys go out there and check what I say because it's a hundred percent on the ball this is not exaggerating I'm not trying to spread fear porn I'm not trying to worry you what I'm trying to do is give you the information so that you can act appropriately to protect you and your loved ones because we have people out there that have probably sat on this information for a lot longer than you guys and they've acted and this could be one of the reasons why Bill Gates now has become one of the largest property owners in the United States it could be why Jeff Bezos is building secret um, special projects out in the middle of nowhere 
you know if you've got the money that these guys have then you can exploit this information to its fullest can you imagine if this was the stock market and you knew that certain companies big blue chip companies were going to fail on the markets in the coming months and you had the money to sell shares or buy shares which would you know benefit you ahead of time information that you could take the bank and you know you could cash it you would do the same as what they're doing and that is exactly what they're doing you know you don't become the largest landowner in the United States for no reason there is a purpose you're going to put most of your investment into such a thing you have to ask the question what is it what do they know and why are they acting like that a lot of people say you know if you want to know what's going on follow the money or follow the money in the way it's been spent where is this land located it's very likely well below 40 degrees longitude on this planet and that means it's probably a fertile land during an interglacial period I want to try and give you the facts guys and we've got a special project I'm just going to briefly mention but before I do you know I am very humble and extremely grateful for the people that have joined me in this fight to get this information out to the majority of the people as many as we can because we're look we are so far behind in the 10 years that we've been in, in the knowledge of this event taking place and recently over the last five years as some of the other anomalies that are coinciding and just making matters worse for people on this earth you know we're still at a situation where 98 percent of the population on this planet are unaware of the magnetic reversal the oncoming glacial period and the grand solar minimum all three of these point out a certain um, most likely significant catastrophe for us and that is based on the ability to feed 8 billion people I'm trying to give you this information so you have the opportunity to act I just want to say a big thanks to those people that help support us here and I know that for a lot of people it's a real big effort to get the credit card out and fill out you know at the bottom of the uh, in the description you know um, you know a donation on the PayPal link or become one of our patrons it's a big effort you know most of us don't have the time to even you know do such things but I think there are becoming more people now aware of what the situation is and maybe that is probably what is encouraging you know over the last few days just a couple more people to you know support what we do I want to show you a couple of things that we have got no um, other alternative but to experience what's coming down the road and I want to lay it out clearly you know we're not in this for the money clearly I think you realize that now we've never had merchandise on this channel we have never um, asked you to buy anything we've never directed you to other places we've never took on commercial advertising and we'll probably keep it that way and to ask for advertising uh, what happened uh, just before Christmas you know was really the nail in it for us, in the, in the wood for us you know we decided that we would never put the advertisement back on and as a result of that we're probably losing three or four hundred pounds it's not a lot of money and a lot of people would say take it but you know what I think it's 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 nice when you're trying to give out information it's not interrupted by senseless advertisements on YouTube you know we have a dedicated website the link is in the description poleshiftnews.com or we usually at the beginning of every video put it in the comment section and I should really start um, pinning it so that it stays there for you guys so that you can come on to our dedicated website for the magnetic pole and not just look at that information related to the magnetic pole but have a look at what else we cover on that website because we try to make it a one-stop shop for anyone interested in earthly anomalies volcanoes earthquakes sea ice extent 
human resonance magnetometers that we have around different locations around the world muon data um, you know the trimag data it's all on there and there's a lot of other stuff on there it's well worth you know uh, bookmarking the website so that you can check on a daily basis because a lot of this stuff is updated two or three times a day on that website and you can check what's going on with your earth and I don't understand why anyone wouldn't be interested you know there is already too much taken for granted you know we don't teach our children half the amount of things we should be doing in schools these days and the other half of the information that we're teaching our kids now is actually dumbing them down you know kids now are growing up believing co2 is responsible for global warming yet there isn't a published document peer-reviewed by anyone that shows that this is the case can you believe that yet we have got so far down the road now it has become um, unacceptable for alternative viewpoints on climate on this earth that's how well a certain amount of individuals have wiped out any evidence of them interfering with the information that is getting out there you know if you want to brainwash us you know a civilization start with the children and what they are learned and taught in schools it's incredible let's have a look at a couple of other things that we really need to focus on so we have a look here at the earth's magnetic pole which has migrated this has not been made up this is an actual fact that you can check if you want We've been covering this topic now for over a decade, would you believe? Let's have a look at some of the other things we need to be concerned with. In this video animation, we're looking at the Milenkovitch cycle. Uh, it occurs every 100,000 years. This is where our Earth goes slightly into an elliptical orbit. Um, leaves its uh, you know, more circular orbit and as we go out into the elliptical orbit at the end of each hundred year cycle we go back into a glacial period you know you can see where this uh, animation has come from and you know you can see there uh, before the organization is mentioned it has got some a word before it climate and of course NASA know why this is important uh, because at the point in time which we're at right now we're already 8,000 years going back into that um, elliptical orbit around our sun and that puts us further away and that means we get low, low solar radiance at that point in time and we emerge back into a glacial period but my point is this why is the media not picking up on this this is an event that affects every soul on this planet and we don't know that after a certain point in returning into that full elliptical orbit on our way there we do not pass a thermocline which is a barrier and once you pass that the earth rapid, rapidly cools we don't know if we've already passed that point you know I say this you know you can't base any trends on short-term climate predictions but what I will say I'll just mention it and you know you take it for whatever it's worth we are seeing for the last two years a rapid glaciation over the northern hemisphere where we have already put three to four million cubic meters sorry cubic mile uh, kilometers so cubic kilometers f nearly three to four million cubic kilometers of ice back already i showed you in a recent video just the advance land that would cover so to put it in perspective it covers ireland the um you know scotland wales england and a big chunk of europe so that gives you an idea of just how much ice has rebounded it sort of slaps uh, Al Gore in the face doesn't it because he said there'd be no ice caps on the northern hemisphere in 2014 and we are many years away from that already 
He also said that children would never see snow. This is a guy that got a Nobel Prize for those very things he promised and haven't come true. What do you think we should do? Take his Nobel Prize off him? Ask him to hand it back in? Because his predictions have come terribly wrong. But more than that, this guy, as well as a lot of other elitists, have managed to, you know, charge people tax carbon tax credits. You know, they've changed industries to the point where some companies have gone bankrupt. You know, look at the automotive industry now, striving to put electric cars on the road. You know, I could go on about a lot of tangencies here. I mean, we don't have the cobalt on the planet to build uh, and replace every combustion engine car for electric cars. So what, what does that mean? The average person like me and you are not entitled in the future to an electric car. You know, the CO2 uh, global warming hoax is just that. It's a hoax. They tried to raise trillions of pounds on the back of global warming recently with COP27, I think it was. You can check it all out. I'll show you what this cycle actually looks like over the last 450,000 years so you get an idea of what this is all about. And this chart demonstrates what NASA's interest is in a 100-year cycle, the Milenkovitch cycle, because every 100,000 years going back 450,000 years, you can see that there is a large event. I just want to point out a couple of things there. Forget the CO2 information, because global warming is not caused by CO2. CO2 only rises when we get a slight warming period in the interglacial period, which I've marked out in the colour uh, purple for you. You know, glacial periods are in the green, and you can see how long they last. They last much longer than interglacial periods and you can see at the right hand side of this chart where zero is where we are right now and you know where we're going from here because we have a trend of 450,000 years that we can take the bank to rely on to know where we go next that's right we're heading back into a glacial period and we could be six to eight thousand years already into that period there's a lot of information in this chart we could use, like, you know, they're talking about global warming at this point, but what about the warming that happened around 125, 130,000 years ago? It was much warmer, you can see on this chart. In fact, the last four interglacial periods that we've had on this planet have been warmer than the point in time we're at right now, yet human beings are responsible. If that's the case, where's all the... Um, you know, technology in the archaeological records that we had beforehand that made the CO2 rise. Think about it. This is common sense. Just give it some thought. All the information's here for you. You, you know, I've sorted it all out so you don't have to do much work. If you want to verify the facts, go out there and check it for yourselves. You're going to come back with the gold like I've given you. This is the 100,000 year cycle that NASA are talking about and that hasn't been brought to the mainstream media because this would change the way people view what they're going to be doing in the future. You know, it won't be just securing your mortgage and a good job and an education. It's going to be about survival. Because I guarantee you now, those 8 billion people that have thrived in this last glacial period over the last 12 to 15,000 years are going to find themselves stuck in a city which is not sustainable. Take a look at your backyard. Can you grow food to sustain your family right now? The majority of the people live in small houses with small back gardens or yards whatever you want to call it or even apartment blocks with a small balcony you might be able to put a window box there but trust me you will not you will not sustain survival with what you will grow in that pot 
you need to have right now plan A, plan B and the emergency contingency plan just in case because I guarantee you now millions of people are going through it already it's at their front door it's just luck it is pure, pure luck it has not knocked on your door yet but the odds are closing in on us all at this very point in time the odds are closing in and the anomalies are there the evidence to support the facts is already before us the big thing is there's a lot of people that aren't even aware of the danger if you knew tonight there was going to be a house fire in your home you wouldn't go to sleep If you knew tomorrow a massive earthquake was going to take place that would be on the scale of probably 10 magnitude, you certainly wouldn't go to work in your high-rise building. And last but not least, the grand solar minimum. You can see the last three solar cycles, how they have diminished exponentially decreased in sunspot activity over the last three cycles when we get low solar activity we have a shrinkage of the heliosphere which is a protective shield that covers most of our solar system when that reduces as it does during low solar activity periods the heliosphere shrinks back in on the solar system and it allows more cosmic radiation inbound the very thing we don't need any more of at this point in time because we are sitting here today with a magnetosphere our primary magnetic field that protects our earth from cosmic rays with a reduction to the tune of 20 percent already and i guarantee you this and you can check these facts with anyone that knows anything about magnetic reversals when the poles go into those weak field lines and the pole migrates much faster it means that the magnetosphere our primary protective shield is weakened further and probably will reduce down to probably 15 10% we don't know but it will massively reduce and that will allow the cosmic rays inbound because of a weakened heliosphere and it will allow much more cosmic rays into our upper atmosphere because our magnetosphere is weakening because of the pole reversal all of these three anomalies that I've pointed out the magnetic pole reversal the coming glacial period and the low solar activity because of the grand solar minimum all lead to a certain point that we have got to overcome keeping the 8 billion souls on this planet fed at that point in time you've been given the information many times I spelled it hopefully out a little bit clearer for you in this video and if you think I'm all about selling fear and porn please do a little bit due diligence and go out there and check the facts that I've presented. And if I'm wrong, which I know I'm not, please prove me wrong. I know you're not going to be able to because what I've showed you is fact based on lots of supported evidence. And most of the organisations won't deny it. But they certainly are not putting it out there for people to pick up on it in any meaningful way you know just think about what we spoke about in the beginning of the video why is Jeff Bezos building these special projects out in the middle of nowhere why is Bill Gates buying up all this prime land it's because they want to stay on the game on top of the game isn't it just like a lot of other individuals that are probably taking this information more serious. You know, you can't say, guys, 
that you wasn't informed. And on that, I just want to give you a little story. Um, it's about a guy who dies, goes to heaven, goes to the gates, and says to God when he gets there, why didn't you allow me to win the lottery? And God says to him, the first thing you need to do is buy a lottery ticket, and maybe I might be in a position to help you. You know, you've been given the information here, and you can never go you know, to those pearly gates yourselves with tears in your eyes, saying that you was never informed of these events and you were you was never given an opportunity to help yourselves because you know you might be reminded of some of these videos that you watched i don't want you to be one of these people do you understand that that has lost everything and have no plans put in place for that time because it is like the one arm bandit in the casino you can keep pulling on that but inevitably, with enough coins and enough time and enough cranks on that angle, you are going to hit the jackpot. And right now, you've avoided it. The jackpot is a catastrophe for you and your loved ones. You've avoided it only by mere luck right now. It's just a matter of time. And with these events that I've pointed out in this video today, all approaching gradually, albeit all carrying very large inertias. So they move slow, but gradually, you know, each given one has an equilibrium point, that middle boundary or that thermocline boundary. You know, they will come, I guarantee it. These events will come. And we have the historical facts to prove it. Guys, I know it's a difficult thing for a lot of you. I know that some of you are genuinely struggling. But we've got a plan here uh, in three months' time to put out into the field 10 magnetometers, three more muon detectors, as well as continue monitoring the magnetic north pole as we do. You know, that is going to require you know, a reasonable amount of money to be raised. If you are interested in supporting us, continually trying to warn people, there's a link down there where you can do that. And I am, as well as a lot of you guys out there, are completely and eternally grateful for those donations that we've received because without them, we would not be here simply right now. So link down there in the description. I'll say what I usually do, you know, think about the things that I've mentioned in this video. They're real. They are 100% real. Take care of your loved ones. As always, bye for now.